Hello, welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at what is runway visual range, low visibility conditions, and category of operations. First, let's look at what is runway visual range. Runway visual range, or RVR, is defined as the horizontal distance a pilot can see on a runway. RVR is determined by atmospheric conditions, the runway lighting, background illumination. RVR is an important factor in aviation safety, especially in low visibility conditions, such as fog or storms. RVR information is used to determine whether the conditions are suitable for landing or takeoff, and the operation category. How and where is RVR measured? RVR is normally measured by using instruments such as a transmissometer and forward scatter meter. The transmissometer emits a light beam to a receiver that measures the intensity of the light to give the RVR value. The forward scatter meter measures the scattering of light caused by particles suspended in the air, such as fog or moisture. On a runway, the RVR is measured in three places, in the touchdown zone, mid-zone, and the rollout zone. RVR and low visibility. RVR information is provided when the RVR falls below 1,500 meters. When the RVR falls below 1,200 meters, it is called as low visibility conditions. When the RVR reduces below 800 meters, the operation category becomes CAT-1. For this operation, RVR information must be provided for the touchdown zone. CAT-1 operations would include non-precision approaches. For CAT-1 operations, the lowest RVR is 550 meters for the touchdown zone. When the RVR falls between 550 meters and 300 meters, the category of operation becomes CAT-2. For CAT-2 operations, both touchdown and mid-zone RVRs should be reported. If the RVR is below 300 meters, the type of operation is CAT-3. CAT-3 is further categorized into CAT-3A, CAT-3B, and CAT-3C as the RVR reduces. The lowest RVR for CAT-3A operations is 175 meters. For CAT-3B operations, the lowest RVR is 50 meters. And for CAT-3C, there is no RVR requirement. For CAT-3 operations, touchdown, mid, and rollout zone RVRs should be reported. Recently, CAT-3 operations have been categorized as CAT-3 without rollout guidance and CAT-3 with rollout guidance. The lowest RVR for CAT-3 without rollout guidance is 175 meters, and the lowest RVR for CAT-3 with rollout guidance is 50 meters. For CAT-3 operations, an aircraft should have an automatic landing system. This is because there would be very little visual references available for a manual landing due to the weather conditions. If an aircraft has auto land with rollout, the auto land system would guide the aircraft through touchdown and rollout until the aircraft decelerates to a safe taxi speed. CAT-2 and CAT-3 operations are precision instrument approaches. In this approach and landing, the aircraft uses both lateral and vertical guidance. The lateral and vertical guidance are provided by ground-based navigation aid, or computer-generated navigation data, or controller interpreting data using radar. Depending on the RVR, or the category of operation, a decision height may be applicable. Reported, Relevant, and Controlling RVR the RVR information that is transmitted to the aircraft is called reported RVR. If additional RVR information is reported, 
it becomes relevant RVR. This means for CAT1 operations, if mid or rollout RVR is reported, they become relevant. For CAT2 operations, if the rollout zone RVR is reported, it becomes relevant. The lowest RVR of all the reported RVRs is the controlling RVR. The controlling RVR is used to determine the category of operations. That's all for my video on the RVR, low visibility conditions, and the category of operations. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please share and subscribe. And you can continue watching some of my other videos as well. Mm -hmm.